Hello, grade 2 and welcome to a new music session. We are at the end of our first unit about developing singing technique and keeping in time. We learn a lot of things about pipes and about their lives. We learn how organized they were and how disciplined. In our fourth and fifth lesson, we will learn to compose a Viking battle song and to perform it. What are we learning in our lessons? In the end, we have to be able to use simple rhythmic notation to compose a Viking battle song and to perform music with confidence and discipline. What I am looking for at the end of our unit is to see you performing rhythms with accuracy from notation, to be able to compose your own rhythms, to add instrumental sound effects to a piece of music, and of course to see you performing with confidence, in time and in tune with others. The next melodic pattern will be sung chromatically going up and down. I will give you an example of how to do the warm-up. If you have a piano or keyboard at home, you can play the note you have to start with and then listen to the pitch of the sound you have to sing. Continue singing the melodic pattern and don't forget to repeat it each time in three times. Please follow my example. Let's remember the Viking notation. The long boat part is made up of minims. The Viking part is made up of crochets. The let's go riding part is made up of quavers. Look carefully to this musical notation you see on these cards and Use it later on when you will have to start your composition task.
Let's remember together what a musical note can show us. A musical note can show us two things, duration and pitch. The duration or how long or short the note is, this is also called note value. Pitch. When placed on music staff, the note also shows the pitch, which means how high or how low a note is. A semi-brief lasts for four beats. A minim lasts for two beats. Crochet has one beat and the quaver lasts half beat. Two quavers equal one beat. Please have a look on the note value tree. Let's read rhythmically these two Viking notations. Long Viking, long Viking, Viking, let's go riding, Viking, let's go riding. Now I will clap and I hope you remember the exercise we did in our lesson in the classroom. Long Viking, long Viking, Viking, let's go riding, Viking, let's go riding. Following my example, please repeat this Viking notation in two or three times, then go on the next slide. Now is your turn. Can you speak these rhythms? Practice in few times and clap along. Don't forget to use diction. Diction, as you remember, is an important part of our vocal technique and it will help you in your rhythmical speaking exercise. Task number one, composition. You will have to compose your Viking battle chant. Explore first of all the previous slide in which you saw the long boat, Viking and let's go riding cards and try to use it as you observe in the previous slides I did it for you. It's a good example. And also, don't forget to use in your composition minims, crochets, quavers. I think it's not difficult for you to draw these notes. You will have also a music sheet attached to this video.
I hope you practice the song at home and you learn the lyrics by heart. I hope your diction is getting better and better and your singing has more dynamics. Of course, you can add to your singing the rhythmical patterns practiced during our lesson time in school, but also I added for you an audio track which has just the instrumental version, so you can create your own cover. Use any hard surface or a drum if you have one at home and play the rhythms along with your singing. Try to be creative and use a lot of expression in your singing and different dynamics. I can't wait to listen to your recordings. Piece of paper, a pencil and answer please to these key questions. Write down the name of the note and how long does it last? At the end, when you complete this task, please take a picture of your worksheet and send it to me via Google Classroom. Thank you.